Hey folks, um, so in this tutorial we're going to take a look at um, how we can make a, a character to stream um, and use that in OBS. So a couple of different ways of going about that. You know, I um, there's a the, the easiest is to do a, a key, a chroma key in uh, OBS. Uh, so I'll show you how you can do that. Uh, you could technically kind of make this chrome, uh, this dome material slightly kind of green and emissive. Uh, you could also basically load a green screen plate here, uh, which is quite easy. I'll show you how to do that. So you load green. Um, now you see this is kind of bleeding a little bit. Um, this is because we have a post process uh, effect. So let me take a look at that in the scene list. You see this post process. Um, if you switch that off, uh, you have perfect kind of green background. Um, you see that you need some lights though. So let's add a lighting rig because this is now not affecting uh, the character. So let's say we're going to uh, take a, what shall we do? Natural even here. Let's take that, um, intensify it a little bit. Uh, actually, this one is quite nice. So let's say I, I wanted to use this 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 lighting rig. I'm going to show um, another thing that we're uh, currently working on. Uh, that's why I was kind of pointing out the post uh, process. Um, even though I switched this off now, um, there are some really fun things that will be uh, coming with that. So I can actually uh, switch effects on here. So first of all, let's... Let's start with like a new post process, uh, for example. You can find these in um, the scene special, uh, and then it's in uh, to, 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 to post process. Uh, so you drag that in here, and then you have that. Um, so now I can look at the details of this auto exposure. Um, you know, this exposure should be just set by us, you see, and not automatically. Um, but what I wanted to show here of this post process, which is cool, is the effects. And we're gonna make this uh, simpler uh, for, for, for people to use, but the next version, you can really play around with this. So let's say we want filters, you know, just like your Instagram filters and so on. You have a bunch of cool stuff here. So let's say we wanna do a stylized character. Um, Let's see what looks cool. And you know, these can be stacked and and, 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 and everything. Let's say I want this kind of like half tone look or pixelated look or whatever you want. Um, that's how, how you can basically load these on top of it. Uh, and there's all sorts of cool effects, you know, like a CCTV or, you know, like a, a old TV. Um, <clears throat> there's a bunch of, um, Actually, there's a bunch more that are coming, but yeah, here you have like, um, you know, a nice kind of uh, film grain and you see that really makes your image, breaks up the image a bit and makes it a look more, makes it look a bit more uh, analog. Um, so this is something that's, 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 that, that's coming. But for now, let's, um, let's just basically say uh, we can switch that post process off because I'm going to show you how we use this character to be a vtuber on um on a gaming channel or, or something like that uh so you could switch between your dome you know let's say if you wanted to do full um let's actually give us some motion here um as you see i've set this character you know it's always kind of like looking at the screen um this is something you can do in here so the, you see the head look at is always set to the active camera um, sometimes it looks away a little bit. Uh, the eyes are always looking at the camera as well. That's something that you kind of uh, want. Now, um, what I'm going to do is basically, I could set a couple of different cameras. So I could kind of, you know, uh, you, you, could do, you could do it in a couple of different ways, right? You can either keep these 
uh, or make like custom bookmarks. There is a, a very good tutorial that uh, Lucas did on the main channel on how to use these bookmarks. So I'm not going to go into that. You could also set up custom cameras and basically kind of uh, trigger those. Uh, but let's keep it simple uh, for, 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 for now. Let's say I have this character. I'm going to go and use my um, uh, face cap app here. Um, people were asking about these settings so it's it's literally default setting uh you can see my iphone i'll show that quickly on uh here so you see basically that on the bar here if i go live um it's on the bar here go live i have my ip address uh, which is the same IP address as the as the computer and um, I connect um, It doesn't do my neck now because I have it Set to always look at the camera uh, if I switch that off You know, I can move around a little bit and uh, and so on But uh, I wanted this to look at the camera and the same for this um, Okay, e um, then I'm using uh, my webcam for the body. I'm going to do the upper body only. So as you see here, using DMC. Um, again, not really much to set. You know, you just got to make sure you have the same port number in the um, in replicant as in your BMC uh, streaming app. Um, then the next bit is okay. So let's go to our scene. So if I wanted to be, you know, full screen uh, VTuber with this kind of background or, or, or whatever you may want to put in here, um, let's say we want to have like a HDRI or like some kind of 360, whatever you want, um, you can do the following. First of all, uh, switch your gizmos off. You, know, you, can, you can do that by pressing D, you know, see that's the shortcut for this. Um, then I can go to full screen, pressing U, you know, so now I'm full screen. Um, actually, let me switch quickly my camera off and my iPhone off. So now I have my, you know, full screen. Hey, what's up? You know, if I want to go and, um, basically go back to my, uh, green picture here I can add this as an overlay in um, for example here let's say okay let me just play this here I'll play uh, a game and now I can just basically crop this I'm doing this in in in, in OBS by the way uh, so I can just, oops, that wasn't the right one. Um, so this is my display. I'll switch that off. Uh, so now I have a game in the background. My display, I could basically just crop here, holding Alt. Um, just cropping that, cropping it on this side, cropping it at the bottom. Uh, and now I, um, you know, I can scale that and put that wherever I want it to be. So, hey, whoa, uh, watch me fake playing Call of Duty. Um, now in OBS, you can basically add a, um, where is it on, on the actual display input, you can add a filter. Uh, so let me see, where is this filter stuff? Uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, so yeah, let me see if I can show that here. So yeah, basically this is what I'm doing in OBS here. Um, and I'll find the 
filter, chroma key. Okay. And it already selected green, as you can see here. And now I press close. And yeah, now I have my character basically on top of a game. And I can be like, hey, what's up? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, the cool thing is that, um, the cool thing is that I can also, I mean, I can just kind of do stuff here, right? I can go, um, I can load my, uh, this is actually a good trick here. So in my edit windows now, I can go to avatar editor. I can tear that off, as you can see. Put that on a second monitor and now while I'm you know interacting with the game you know I can say hey let's uh, change his outfit you know now outfit is changed um, or whatever whatever you kind of want to do or maybe I want to change the proportions of this character he's getting a power up or um, you know there's a lot of a lot of fun kind of things that you can do in here um, so we'll leave this for time being maybe I want his eyes to change let's give him some uh, fiery kind of eyes um, so yeah that's that's basically how you can set up your um, your streamer um, and, and 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 stream with it now I I'm I haven't really done much streaming, but I'm looking into all these things, and um, that's the beauty of a, a real-time 3D system. You can pretty much pipe this into uh, into anything. And again, I'm actually really surprised because I got a, a a few things running here. It's all running on one computer, um, so the yeah, it's quite uh, it's quite 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 impressive the the speed that I still get. You see, like uh, 50 FPS. Um, uh, on top of this, this is actually super cool. So let's let's switch the mocap off. Uh, so forget about this mocap. I'm gonna switch this off for time being. Go back to my scene, um, and what I can do now is I can basically uh, look at the. This is not available in your version yet. We're still kind of working on 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 this. Uh, the real time AI that is. Uh, so basically, when I load this. I can now take this character and um, actually let me tear this panel off so you can see that. Uh, so I have, you see this panel here? This is our real time AI panel. I'll put it at the bottom here so you can see that. Um, and this is going to get integrated into Twitch and, 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 and so on. So now I have this avatar selected, uh, said he's standing. Uh, and I can talk to him right now, so I can literally either type if I don't want to talk, uh, for example, hello, uh, and then this character will respond uh, to us. Hey there, I'm Kazuki Koroi. How's it going? Um, I can also press just V, right, so I can say, uh, uh, so yeah, when I press, press the, the V hotkey, it, it also triggers this. Let me just position this somewhere so it doesn't get into the screen. Uh, so I'm like, hey man, yeah, I'm just uh, making a uh, tutorial on how to do streaming. Oh, I didn't select this window. Hang on. Sorry. Uh, hey, yeah, I'm just making a tutorial here. Oh, that's pretty cool. What kind of tutorial are you working on? Uh, I'm doing a Call of Duty speed run, and I'm uh, visualizing myself as a streamer. Wow, that sounds awesome. Speed running Call of Duty must take a lot of skill and practice. And picturing yourself as a streamer, that's a great way to keep motivated. Uh, so if I want to scale that up, you know, I can do that in OBS, which is pretty cool. Um, but I can keep talking with this guy, right? It's quite funny. Um, actually, I'm I'm cheating. I'm playing a YouTube video, uh, doing a uh, run through.
Oh, um, that's one way to do it, I guess. But hey, as long as you're learning something from it, right? Uh, you can go. Yeah, exactly. That's what it's all about. We got to keep learning. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Learning new things keeps life interesting and challenging. And hey, sometimes taking shortcuts can teach us something too, in a way. So yeah, that's that for this tutorial. Um, I got one, one other thing that I wanted to mention. So what I'm doing here is I also have a filter on my audio mic that um, adds a slight delay, a couple of frames. Um, I don't really kind of bother resyncing it, uh, but I, I prefer to have good audio. I saw some complaints about my initial bad audio. Um, so I'll show you how I do that actually. It's the same thing uh, in OBS where you basically have your filters um so here you see i have um noise suppression so that kind of basically keeps out uh crying babies in the background computer noise and traffic going by here um so that's what i'm i'm, I'm using for this but you don't have to do that uh, that's just a just a just a tip uh so yeah, that's uh, that's how we do that. Um, yeah, goodbye. Say goodbye now, my friend. Ah, uh, gotta head out, huh? Well, it was really nice talking to you. Take care, and maybe we'll chat again soon. Goodbye, my friend.